Uh, just just one for Nick now. Uh, Nick, obviously, we know you're starting uh, tomorrow. Uh, as far as you and the other goalkeepers are concerned, is Jordan Pickford the England number one? Or, or do you feel that that shirt is still up for grabs looking ahead to the Euros? Um, yeah, I think it's fair to say he's number one at the moment. Um, now, if you look at the last 25, 30 fixtures, he'd have played you know, probably 28 of them. So a person with that sort of record in a national team, I think, deserves to be called number one, has earned it. You know, it's not happened overnight. It's happened over, you know, two, three years consistent playing for your country. So I think it's fair to say that he's he's number one at the minute. Not that that's to say that that doesn't change, you know, whenever the time may be. So for a goalkeeper, you know, you've got to keep working and, and keep, like any player does, you know, earning your right to be in the squad and, you know, fighting hard to, you know, make your way into the team. And for Nick, it must be, I know you've spoken about Jordan being the, the number one for the, he's been number one for a while, but it must be a dream of yours to think that you could be lining up in what is basically going to be a home tournament. And also as an English goalkeeper, how much extra pressure does that bring? Do you feel there is extra pressure on an English goalkeeper? Um, I'm not sure about extra pressure. I think there's pressure for every position in the squad. Um, as, a, as there is competition in every position, um, and every player in this squad and who's not made this squad will be looking at the summer as you know a home tournament and a massive opportunity to you know take part in a in a massive event and a, it is it's a life for us a one once in a lifetime opportunity so you know the lads in, in the dressing room here and I know the ones outside the squad as well will be we doing everything they can obviously to to make that final squad because the uh, the opportunity is something that you know won't won't come up again for anyone. Hi, Gareth and, and Nick. Um, Gareth, just on the on the keepers, you said last week you didn't feel anyone was putting Jordan Pickford under enough consistent pressure to be England number one. Is is this a chance for Nick to do exactly that? And then for Nick, I guess that's exactly what you want, the opportunity to prove what you can do on the international stage. Yeah, I mean, Nick, Nick has been uh, first and foremost a fantastic part of why the squad have progressed and had a reasonable amount of success comparative to what England have done over the years in the last couple of years. Um, he's been an incredible member of the squad, high high performance level, um, low maintenance in terms of you know neediness, <laughs> um, and uh, sacrifices himself for the team at all moments. Um, you couldn't ask for a better person to have in the group. Um, he has had to be so patient to get game time um, and we feel it's important he's getting that um, last month, this month, the game in Kosovo um, because I recognise how difficult it is to travel as one of the goalkeepers who isn't starting all the time. That's a tough ask. A lot of goalkeepers have retired from that over the years and I, and I totally understand it. So we're hugely appreciative of having a goalkeeper of Nick's quality who at the moment is just behind Jordan but absolutely that that fight is there that push is there um, I mentioned last week you know I felt Jordan had earned the right to have our support um, and I know Nick would rather be higher up the league table than they are at the moment but that's temporary and he's got a great habit of keeping the ball out the net that's a bit old-fashioned in terms of what people want from goalkeepers they want them to start attacks create attacks you know juggle, um, do all sorts of things. But actually, there's something to be said for coming, collecting crosses, dominating your box and keeping the ball out of your net with good saves. And he does that. So um, we, we couldn't be happier with him as a, as a guy to work with.